Well, here we go. Another day in the woods of New Hampshire. Check out that magnificent wall. Right on the edge of this little bit of ravine. I have not been out here in a while. And it's looking as rough as I remember. And I'm back out here because I found a kind of abstract map that's about 170 years old of this part of town, which just happens to lie in an area we have access to to metal detect. And there's an old farm right down the bottom of this hill. And this one abstract map that I found, which is seems to be pretty accurate, shows an old road coming up out of that farm and into this area. And as you know, we have grid squares of property and the road shows it going up into this particular square. Well, that's interesting. So, that gives us an adventure for the day. Let's see if we can find this bit of road. I hope that this was not it because it is just washed. Let's see if we can find it. See where it goes and if it led to anything. And so the map shows double lines as proper road, dotted lines as old road, and they implied that this is a old road. It was an old road in the mid-1800s. And like I said, the map has been pretty good. Huh. Boy, it's just... It has some texture. So I'm not sure if this ravine or the next ravine over next to the wall is where we're supposed to be going. It actually shows it crawling right up beside the wall. You know, relatively close. All right, we just need to find some ruts, shoulders, anything. Huh, and as I step down in here, that's a pretty, pretty solid line. Can you see it? That might be it. Stone, stone. Yeah, this may be it. Oh yeah, plenty of rock walls on the side. So somebody took the time to actually somewhat build the road. Woof. All right, this is gonna be slow. So the thing is, on these old maps, all of them, they never just put someone's, you know, wagon trail, cart path, cow lane, or anything like that that went, went up into, you know, a back pasture. Those never made maps. So for this to be on there and stopping three quarters of the way up through this square, you know, makes me wonder. At that point in the mid 1800s, was the was there an old home site out here, cabin site or something, long gone? But they still mapped the old road. Who knows? That's why we're out here. Well, it 
is opening up nicely. How's that for a crazy wall? Beautiful though. And that's the thing. The possibility or whatever it is we're looking for, don't know what we're looking for, could be up there. Just because the cart path came in on this side doesn't mean someone was down here. This just might have been the way in. Well, I've been walking around scanning for a while. This just screams. Nice place to build a dwelling. And the cart path just led up into this general area and that's it. That's all I can do. Walk around, look, and detect. Well, I have no idea big out here and by the wall behind me definitive road coming up in here people were doing things for a while I've been swinging my detector looking for or listening for nails but nothing huh well I'm gonna start looping my way around because I've already been out here a couple hours just a big loop because I'm so far out but that's all right we're gonna see things we haven't seen before or places at least I'll probably end up in one of the old fields at the farm I was speaking of Hopefully. Well, that ate up some time. I made it to the old field. Here's the recap. Shotgun Willie rifle casing. Folded flashing. It's probably even copper. No idea. A nail and a bullet. A nail and there's the poke. Washer excitement. Yep, not finding anything today. But that's all right. It was about the old map, the old road. Checking that out. Still a history mystery. Definitely odd. But have to check. You never know. There may still be something out there. Take the abyss into account. Following that old wagon road over all those days led to some pretty interesting spots. So you never know. And it may happen that in the future I'm on the other side and I connect it. But... At least I know that that map has some merit, which is a good thing. All right, get out and explore your world, and I'll see you next time.